right, see you there. Good morning, friend. I am painting a mural and this is my first solo commissioned mural. So I've done a mural before but solo. I've done a commissioned mural before, but this is my first time doing it solo but also being commissioned, if that makes sense. I'm super excited and super nervous. Thankfully, it is an indoor wall and it is a very manageable size. It's a size that I've done before. Height-wise, all I'm actually gonna really need is a ladder, no fancy scissor lift or anything like that, thankfully. I am just starting out painting the base today, but I would love to take you along as we set up, scope up the scene and figure it all out. So let's get to it. Can I just get a medium black iced coffee with light ice? Okay. Hi. Thank you. I looked at my camera weird. Thank you. I actually just realized I don't even know where the heck I'm going right now. So let me just pull over and put that in the GPS. Okay, GPS is ready. Coffee is nice and refreshing. Also, are you taking in this big ladder? Like, thankfully my dad helped me put this in my car last night. I don't know how I could have done it on my own. And I actually am a little bit worried about how I'm gonna take it out and put it back in my car at the end of the day. So we'll see how that goes. I love having a hatchback car. I'll just say that. You can put so much stuff in there. see the walls are already purple but the purple that I'm using is a little bit lighter a lilac purple if you're wondering the organization is called help the girl out they are an anti-poverty organization that helps with period poverty around the world so I am so excited I'm gonna show you guys the design it's just pads and tampons and like diva cups isn't it so cute let's get set up First and foremost, we gotta tape up all of the borders, so let's do that. Okay, the wall is all taped up finally. They had to fill in some holes in the wall right here, I don't know if you can see. So I'm gonna quickly sand those down before we start painting. it is the next day you won't believe it but yesterday my memory card just randomly said it's full when i cleared it off before i started filming which was quite frustrating i ended up filming on my iphone a couple clips only for my iphone storage to tell me that it was full literally three videos after i started filming so yeah bruh all i really did was paint the wall that lighter purple co purple color so you didn't miss much. Today I'm actually gonna be painting the design and working through that, I bought a quart. So like it wasn't the big can of paint, it was like this big for the wall because I thought it's just one wall, it should be fine. When I tell you guys, I poured half of it into the paint tray and so immediately I'm panicking like, oh my God, this isn't gonna be enough. But it was literally just enough. Like I swear I got the last roll of paint and put it on the last section and it was done. There is like a tiny bit left in the can, but I'm gonna use that for any touch-ups I have to do later. And hopefully that's enough. Hopefully I don't have to go buy more. Another thing is I bought these little tiny cans, sample sizes for the designs. So I'm not gonna need a lot. And I wanted to mix some of the colors. So I bought these little paint roller trays so I could do that on Amazon. And they're coming tonight at 8 p.m., which is so frustrating. So I think I'm just gonna check the dollar store. I'm like fingers crossed hoping that the dollar store even sells those. I have no idea. They had paint trays at the dollar store, but they didn't have liners. My plan was to just buy one paint tray and a bunch of liners to switch it out, but they didn't have liners. So I just bought three trays and they were only a dollar each. Amazon is a scam because I bought one tray and like five liners and a roller for $20. I will 
be returning those. In case you wanted to know, this is how the wall looks. Literally, this is all I did. I painted it a couple of shades lighter. So I started off sketching onto the wall with a blue chalk, which kind of was silly since you can't really see the blue chalk on the purple wall since the colors are so similar, but it did help me get a good idea of how big each object was before I actually started painting because I didn't have a projector or anything like that, nor did I do like a doodle grid like some artists do. So I was technically freehanding all of this on the wall. And since it was a relatively small wall, I thought it would be okay. and. I feel like in the end it was okay, but I think you can be the judge of that for yourself when you see the final result. Here I am starting off by painting these white underwears and I thought it was just like a nice simple way to start out. Meanwhile, two seconds later, here I am erasing it and starting over because I didn't like how it turned out. You'll learn throughout the series that I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. A few moments later. You guys, you guys, you guys, I messed up hard. I was painting the white literally as soon as I stopped recording and I went to move the ladder and I think you know what happened. I forgot that the paint was on top of the ladder. So it fell. Thankfully it was like only a small little thing so it wasn't that much paint and even more grateful that it mostly fell onto the wall that I was painting on and the tarps and a little bit went onto the floor and I was freaking out mostly for the floor because you know everything else is fixable. I was like freaking out, freaking out. I was literally gonna cry. Like I thought it was a dream. Like I'm like this is a dream. Like I'm dreaming. Pin like this isn't real. But it's water-based paint thankfully so I was able to scrape everything off. You can't even tell that anything fell there thankfully but you'll see when I go in I have to basically fix this whole wall now because the paint fell on it and I didn't want it to dry in like these splatters so I just wiped it quickly so literally I went to Home Depot and so I'm in my car I went back to Home Depot that's close by here and bought more paint and I had to buy a roller cuz I didn't bring my roller today cuz I wasn't gonna need it so I don't know I just feel like I wasted a whole hour and a half right now and it sucks but it could have been way worse the paint could have gone on their furniture and that would have been bad or like onto the walls that they painted and then we would have to have repainted those so thankfully none of that happened. Everything's fixable. It's just time now, which is fine. And out of all the things that could have happened wrong, I'm glad this is, it happened this way and yeah. Finally, we are finally getting into painting the mural and as you can see throughout this video, one thing you'll notice is I am a huge perfectionist when it comes to lines. So even though this mural was a fairly small wall, it did take me longer than I feel like it should have because I just wanted to make sure every single line was perfect, every single coat of paint was perfect. All of these clips are obviously sped up because if we were to sit and watch me paint every single line in real time, we would be here literally four days so obviously not gonna do that one thing that i experienced that i never experienced before was specifically with this white paint it was really thick and thus it got really tacky really quickly so as i was painting it it kept drying up basically and it kind of got a little bit clumpy so i later had to sand it down and recoat it and it ended up being smooth but that was a new experience i've never experienced and a workaround that i found was mixing some water into the paint and making it a little more i guess liquidy <laughs> so to speak which helped a lot and it made the other white products smoother good morning friends it is two days since i last spoke to you and since i last painted yesterday i took a break because i had to judge a skills competition for some high school students which was pretty cool but because of that obviously i was out all day and i didn't get to paint I am not gonna lie though, I feel like that break was much needed. Um, obviously I don't do murals often, mural painting isn't my only source of income. It's taxing on your body, it's tiring, just like standing there obviously you're doing manual physical labor but also after a while it's like your mind gets tired because you're constantly planning, okay where does this part go, where does this part go, paint, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just grateful that I got a break and my goal is to finish it today, okay? I think I can do it today, but the only thing is I have to leave early. So I have to be out of there by like 3.50 because I have to go somewhere tonight. Because I messed up the tarp so bad last time, I just threw them out. So they were like, there was a lot of paint on them. So I'm going to go and buy a new tarp from the dollar store. I feel like every day that I'm painting, I've had to go stop and buy something, which is fine, but 
I don't know, lessons learned. It's cool to know how much supplies you actually need. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, get the tarp, maybe get a coffee today and head on over. So as you can see, I need to like do a second coat on the red spots here. Um, I need to fix some of the mistakes. So like this needs to be fixed. I need to like paint in purple where the chalk is. You can still kind of see the chalk line. So I need to paint that over. We're almost there. Just so you know, I'm not lying about how long it actually takes me to paint. Here is me in real time painting on these hearts onto the wall. Obviously, I've cut the clip up, but you can see how slowly I've moved my brush. I had a lot of fun painting this mural just because we were literally painting menstrual products and that is not something that I personally have done before in my own art in, like in illustration let alone on a mural and so the fact that like menstruating is literally free flowing and a lot of my work consists of a lot of free flowing lines and fluidity it just felt like it really fit not just like in the form of art that it took but also just kind of concept wise like as you can see the lines that i make on the branches are curved the blood falling out of the menstrual cup is really curved and wavy and i don't know i just thought that that really felt aligned with me and it couldn't have been a better matchup over here you'll see me painting the details on the pad and this is like a closed pad that's still wrapped up i initially put tape onto it because i wanted to make really 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 straight lines as you're seeing here and i wanted them to be thin i didn't want them to be as thick as the brush so i thought this would be a good way to do so but you'll see here in just a second when i peeled off the tape the lines weren't actually as straight i feel like where the tape was you can still kind of see some mess ups so i go on and clean that up later on but here i am painting the blood on the pat on the panties on the underwear which i thought was really cool and really fun and i love being able to add this touch as well a few moments later unfortunately i didn't completely finish today i'm like 90 percent done but like i said i gotta go to my appointment um however i just gotta add in final details to fill in some of the empty space and also clean it up a little bit because my lines as you can see i'm only human and i'm not perfect and you can see chalk lines as well i'm gonna clean up the chalk lines as well as lines like this where i like messed up a little bit so that's gonna be tomorrow and then we're done it's the last day so yes we're here on the final stretch today i was literally just adding in all of the final details and i guess you could say the filler items so to me the filler items were these pink flowers the circles and all these like swirly curly i don't know what you call them curly cues they're just cute little designs that i like to make in my artwork i like to create a lot of artwork that is full of different shapes and colors so adding these kind of filled up the wall a little bit while still keeping the design pretty simplistic and clean which is what the client wanted and you'll also see me here cleaning up the lines again perfectionism has been getting the best of me especially in this project honestly making the lines really clean and straight although it is very tedious you can't tell me this isn't satisfying to watch so you can only imagine how satisfying it was for me to actually clean all of this up at the end and just like see it finally be what it was supposed to be you know like i'm painting all these days and the lines are messy because when you paint murals and painting in general like it gets messy before it gets clean and that's something that I just had to accept instead of always wanting to have everything be perfect as we go along just like letting it be messy getting up the designs and like going back and telling myself it will be cleaned up just be patient so being able to accept that and be patient with the cleaning part was a struggle but I'm glad that I've gotten here in my career and like I don't know it just makes it so much worth it at the end when you're able to actually clean it up like this no, you guys, I'm actually so silly for this. I've been painting over the chalk lines over on that side, and I realized as the purple dries, you need another coat. And then in my head, I'm like, why don't I just try wiping off the chalk with a wet paper towel? Tell me why that works. I'm here painting over the blue chalk lines for no reason. I just literally have to wipe it with a paper towel. So that's going to be significantly faster and it's also going to look better. I'm just going to continue cleaning the stuff up with the purple background and then go ahead and wipe the chalk off. I'm so glad I realized that before I did the whole wall. This is about to be the most satisfying thing because I messed this up on day one and I've been wanting to fill it in but I was like, let me wait till the end. 
look how satisfying that is. Oh my God. Ugh. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Here I am just wiping away the chalk lines, the blue chalk lines. You can't really see and I didn't realize when I was filming because the way the camera was detailed and the way the chalk was so light and blue, you can't really tell that I was wiping it off, but it got wiped off, trust me. My favorite part. And of course, the final touch, adding my signature so that my name could live on forever with this beautiful mural. We are officially done. I would say my biggest lesson throughout this project was to take your time. I think when I dropped the paint off of the ladder, it was really because I felt like I was rushing and I wasn't being diligent. And after that incident happened and I started taking my time painting, although yes, it does become really time consuming, I do think taking your time with what you're doing and really putting your intention into it shows through into the final product. And I'm just so happy with how clean this turned out with the lines, with the colors and the concept. It's just all so beautiful to me and I think being able to again take my time with it and be intentional with it was a big reason why this turned out how I wanted it to turn out. Cheers to more murals in 2024.